Everyone is unique. No one has the same story as me, and no one has the same story as you. So, I want to know what it's like to be you. One in 70 Australians live on the autism spectrum. So odds are that you or someone you know is one of those people. No two people are alike on the autism spectrum and all have their own interests and strengths. So what's it like being on the autism spectrum? Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Noah. I'm Abby. My name is Gabe. Uh, my name is Elias. My name is Jack. My name's Monica, and I'm 11 years old. And I'm 10 year old. Oh no, that's grammatically incorrect. Um, stop, okay, let's start again. My name is Jack, and I'm a 10 year old. My friends would probably describe me as quirky, funny, and smart, because that's what they think of me, and I'm fine with that. Um, well. I think my friends would describe me as me, probably. Not really sure. My friends would describe me as funny, I mean, sometimes clumsy. I like to think I'm funny, but a lot of people probably don't think I share that opinion. Uh, my friends would describe me as smart, quirky, in a good way. And my favourite thing about myself, um, I could list 100. My favourite thing about myself is my creativity. Big front brain. My biggest passion in life is drawing, and I draw monsters and robots and fictional characters. I like programming because my just mind just it understands it and it's fun for me. Uh, one of my biggest passions is video games. Another one is reading and writing, because I love writing and reading. I like playing the drums because I someday want to be in a band. But I don't like writing if it's not creative writing, so you're not going to get me to write a report that isn't about a pyramid disappearing into thin air and later being found carried in the ocean by a bunch of crows and submarines that later pick up the pyramid and then take it to Mars. That actually happened, except for the fact that it did not happen. On the autism spectrum, how I would describe it is that my brain thinks a bit differently. Everyone with autism is a unique snowflake. No two people are the same. I have autism in the form of Asperger's syndrome. Asperger's is a syndrome where you can you are really good at some stuff, but you also struggle at certain stuff. It's a disorder that makes you that makes everything seem bigger and stronger. So imagine if for you, just close your eyes and listen to everything around you and ramp it up. It it. It makes me feel much stronger emotions. Really good feelings, really good. Really bad feelings, really bad. I honestly don't think it makes me that different, except sometimes I think it makes me, like, everyone else is here and I'm up here because I'm narcissistic and I love myself. Which, I mean, if you've got a choice between hating yourself and being narcissistic and loving yourself, you probably want to go with that end because that's, I, I speak from experience, loving yourself is better than hating yourself. Honestly, I don't know. I just feel like a regular person most of the time. Loud noises, I really hate. I always want to go away from them, which is pretty ironic because I play the drums. I struggle in big crowds and I am very sensitive to smells. Whenever I'm in a large crowd, 
I get quite overwhelmed. I don't like all the noises that are ramped up, and I don't like people's faces because they always move around and they seem different to me. It makes me feel quite stressed out, actually. I start doing things like pulling out my hair and eyebrows. I start really getting stressed, and it just feels horrible. Sometimes um, I, like, offend somebody without knowing I offended them. It's a bit confusing, to say the least. The way I solve problems is probably different to the way you do. I always carry a bag of things with me that are things that I can touch, things that I can taste, things that calm me down, so I'm never all that stressed. Some things that help can have a sensory tool. Um, at my school, we actually have a sensory box um, with a bunch of different stuff. Well, here's my bag I have with me today. It might not always be the same bag, but it's usually got an array of things in it that might be the same. Firstly, I have my sultanas. I like the way they feel soft on my tongue and the way they slowly just put an array of tastes into my mouth. Another thing is my sponge. It's a very badly cut sponge, as you can see, but I drew a little face on it and I like squeezing it. And I also have a fidget spinner. Sometimes Stanley can help me um, because I've had him basically all my life and also just having a quiet place so I can relax. I have sensory issues with smell, um, specifically with fruit. Like, it's more than a simple disliking of apples or something, no. I, I, I get really scared, I want to run away and I, I, I want to scream and I want to block my nose. School, sometimes it's a bit hard. I think it's very hard to make friends, actually, when you're on the autism spectrum, because you don't know how to fit in, you don't know how to talk to people, you don't really know how to start a conversation. Some people just bullied me and said that I'm weird and all that. Like, it might just take me a bit longer to learn things, um, and, like, we have a session once a term about what I might need, but I'm still a human being and I should still be respected. I can't really focus in my head, so I have to use my fingers all the time. Sometimes I hate the feeling that everyone's thinking that I'm weak and I can't do anything, but I say they're wrong. I am not weak. If anything, I'm stronger. Autistic people can vary from people who have trouble like people who do need learning support teachers, to geniuses. So it's a spectrum, people. Before I was diagnosed, I felt like the whole world was robots and I was the only human because everyone was just acting the same. Everyone was doing the same thing at the same time, doing everything correctly. And I felt different. Before, I was told, I was very depressed. But then I, after, I was told, I'm a lot happier now than I was before. When I got the diagnosis, everything suddenly made sense to me. I felt like everyone was human, but I'm like elevated. I have been enlightened. What I'd say to someone who's been told they're on the autism spectrum is, don't worry, it's not a disease. You'll have a good life. Besides, there's many advantages to his autism spectrum. Some people think that people with Asperger's are not smart, but that is definitely not true. They're the exact opposite, the polar opposite. The skill or passion I, I that has been helped by being on the autism spectrum was having a passion for tech, because now I want to be a tech designer when I'm older. But I'm really good at subjects like um, programming, technology, science and math. Generally, if there's creative writing involved, I'll be like, my creative writing sense is tingling. I'm proud of myself because I'm very creative and smart. The best thing is that I can always be different, not just be common. They've helped me see the world in a different way to everybody else. In my eyes, I see the world as inspiration. You know, 
know, people like Steve Jobs and Isaac Newton, they all had, um, like, Asperger's. And those people did really good stuff. Albert Einstein. Pretty sure he was autistic. Bill Gates. He was probably autistic. Loads of geniuses are autistic. My goals. A, surviving and not dying when I'm like 20. <laughs> B, getting a family. I want a family. I want kids. I want the whole the whole package, a house in the suburbs, etc. Um, I want to be a cartoonist when I'm older. I'd probably like to be an engineer or a scientist or a prime minister. I want to give my view on the world. I kind of want to be like an author or something like that, or a comedian. I am proud of myself. I am very proud of myself. Um, well, I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, I'm very proud of myself. I've come all this way with autism. I've come a pretty long way, honestly. Instead of coming home screaming, saying, why is everyone so mean to me? I come home and I'm like, I've had a pretty damn great day at school.